The UN Relief and Works Agency, which looks after around 4 million Palestinian refugees in the region, suspended its operations in Gaza after the attack on its headquarters in which three of its employees were injured. Israeli leader Ehud Olmert said that their forces had been returning fire from within the UN compound. But John Ging, the director of operations for the agency, described the Israeli claim about a Hamas presence as, quote, nonsense. Ging said the UN had warned the Israelis the compound was in danger from shelling and provided them with GPS coordinates to prevent an attack. Agency spokesman Chris Gunnis said that pallets with supplies desperately needed by Palestinians in Gaza were on fire. He asked, quote, what more stark symbolism do you need? You can't put out white phosphorus with traditional methods such as fire extinguishers. You need sand. We don't have sand. The Israeli military has denied using white phosphorus shells in the Gaza offensive, although investigations by human rights organizations and British media have revealed that dozens of Palestinians in Gaza have sustained serious injuries from the substance, which burns at extremely high temperatures. Several rights organizations said that they were certain that Israel was using white phosphorus shells in Gaza, which would constitute a war crime.